Because of studious action and the pursuit of his two favorite things, Phil Jackson carved out an unforgettable career for himself as a player, basketball coach, and now general manager. NBA coaching, however, was not Phil's initial path. Following his NBA playing and brief coaching career, he was ready to give up the sport altogether, stating, I'd recently left a head coaching job in the Continental Basketball Association, frustrated by how shamelessly ego-driven the game had become. Phil's path, however, was destined to be different. While still co contemplating what his next juncture may be, he received a call from the Bulls, Bulls vice president of basketball operation, informing him of an assistant coaching position that had just opened up. This turned out to be the call of a lifetime. Through research, he learned this would be the best opportunity for himself, basketball-wise and life-wise, saying to his wife, it would be like going to graduate school in basketball. Eventually, the pieces fell in place, and Jackson became the team's new head coach. And as head coach, he had a dream. His dream was to craft a team based off of his two greatest passions, basketball and spiritual exploration. Thanks to those around him and the knowledge he accumulated throughout his lifetime while practicing Christianity, Zen, and studying the Lakota Sioux, he was able to put his dream into play through the linkage of spirit and sport. The famed coach stated in his biography, Sacred Hoops, in basketball, as in life, true joy comes from being fully present in each and every moment, not just when things are going your way. Of course, he goes on to state, it is no accident that things are more likely to go your way when you stop worrying about whether you're going to win or lose and just focusing on what's happening right this moment. He realized when you free the athlete to use all of the mental, physical, and spiritual resources, a shift in awareness occurs, something known as mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply paying attention to what's actually happening. His mission was to inspire them to be acutely aware of what was happening, even though the spotlight was on, even when the spotlight was on somebody else, a team that could win big without becoming small in the process. He did this by instructing his players to call upon something greater than themselves. He used this philosophy because he learned that the most successful way to forge a successful team was for the individual to surrender their self-interest for the greater good of the team saying that the whole adds up to more than the sum of its parts. Jackson was right, and through the linkage of spirit and sport and the implementation of a team first attitude through selflessness, Jackson had an unbelievable coaching career, winning 10 NBA championships for the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers.